start with the Pacers back because I'm I'm curious about this one. Yeah. Um, with the Lakers, I'm pretty high on them right now. I actually think that they're maybe a little bit underrated in the market here. Uh, obviously, the injury report is significant with the Lakers, who seem to be trying to like get guys healthy for uh, the playoffs that they may not be in, which is a choice. Anthony Davis is questionable. LeBron James is questionable. Uh, Gabe Vincent's still out. He's getting closer to a return, but still going to be out in this one. Um, the injury report's pretty clear for the Indiana Pacers outside of Benedict Matherin, who's out for the rest of the season. Uh, especially I'm curious in the first half play. Why do you like the Pacers in the first half on this one? Yeah, this is barring the, the injury report is obviously massive here in this spot. We know um, Anthony Davis is coming off of a miss. He's questionable. And that's a big part of this cap. If Anthony Davis is on the floor, I would rethink this entire play. So we'll see what happens there. But with Anthony Davis off the floor, that's who kills the Indiana Pacers inside and and guys like Anthony Davis. If you have a dominant big that can impact on both ends like Anthony Davis can, it's a big problem for the Indiana Pacers and Miles Turner. So if if you can avoid Anthony Davis in this spot and potentially get LeBron James to go, I like this spot in the first half for the Pacers. Now, this is a little bit of a sell high in the window on the Los Angeles Lakers. They're going to be feeling extremely good coming off of the big wins and the, and, and the streak that they're on on that side and just kind of looking like the team we expected them to be coming in here and closing out their year. But without Anthony Davis on the floor, I like the Pacers in the first half because overall, especially when LeBron comes back, typically off of a missed game, he usually starts a little bit slow. In the first half this year, he's averaging seven, like seven and change from the floor field goal attempts. And in the second half, it balloons all the way up to like 9.7. So he usually gets going later on in the game. And I like the the Pacers to to bounce back here and continue to just to put together a better overall performance at home than they have been recently. Tyrese Halliburton's got to wake up, and this is not the worst matchup to do so against guys like D'Lo and Austin Reeves. So I'm going to – this is contingent on Anthony Davis. If he doesn't go, and I feel like one of those guys is going to miss, right? I saw it before we hopped on. It was two and a half. The Pacers were favored. Now it's three. There's some, uh, I just saw a three and a half flash on the board as well. So I like the the minus one and a half for the Pacers in the first half. If you take it up to two. I would probably start to pump the brakes after a minus two if Anthony Davis doesn't go. But I'm going to, I'm going to sell on a, a fat feeling good Lakers team here on a little hungrier squad without one of their biggest guys in Anthony Davis. If he doesn't go, I expect, I kind of expect Ant not to go and LeBron to go, but we'll see. That's, speculation just gut but if that is the case i do like the patience in the first half line's interesting so what do we think this goes to if if both davis and lebron play pick yeah, it's probably it's it's probably a pick them uh a, maybe even a maybe even a one one and a half because the lakers minus one and a half for those of you that are, that are that are new to the show it's not that lebron and ad are together only worth three points of the spread is that this number is very clearly reflecting it's a little half and half. Little it's middle. a halfway, right? Yeah. It's like, okay, we don't know if they're going to play or not. Let's put it in the middle and let's see which way the market takes it. So the market's obviously like, hey, like Davis Mays is probably not going to play in this one. Let's go ahead and take Indiana. Um, but if he plays, that comes back all the way and it probably moves to three. It might even move to Lakers minus one. I will say um, I make this full strength Lakers minus two and a half. So if I get in, if, if it's announced AD and LeBron are a go, um, I'll try and grab that as soon as possible. We'll see what the number bumps to. If it gets over two and a half, I won't play it, but I will play it at two or under on the Lakers if AD and LeBron are a go. 